Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe alkylation and acylation of benzene. Scientists call these friedel crafts reactions. You should then be able to describe the mechanism for these reactions. Now, different parts of this video are required for different exam boards, and I've summarised that here. In the last two videos, we've looked at the mechanisms for both nitration and bromination of benzene. In this video, we're looking at two more reactions which follow a similar mechanism. The first reaction is called alkylation, and I'm showing you an example here. Scientists call this reaction Friedel Crafts alkylation. During alkylation, we add an alkyl group to the benzene ring, for example, a methyl or an ethyl group. The starting materials are benzene and the relevant halo alkane. For example, if we want to form methyl benzene, then we use chloromethane. The reactants are reflux with aluminium chloride, which acts as a halogen carrier catalyst. Here's a reaction to form ethyl benzene. In this case, we use the haloalkane chloroethane. The reaction has three stages. In the first stage, the halogen carrier reacts with the haloalkane to generate the positive electrophile. In this example, the haloalkane is chloromethane, so we produce the methyl carbocation. In stage two, a pair of electrons from the delocalized electron structure of benzene forms a dative covalent bond to the methyl carbocation. We make an unstable intermediate. As you can see, the methyl carbocation is acting as an electrophile. In the intermediate, the delocalized electron structure of benzene has been partially broken. So now, the electron pair between the hydrogen and carbon atom moves down into the delocalized electron system of the benzene ring, and this restores the delocalized electron structure. We've now formed our product molecule, methyl benzene. We've also formed a hydrogen ion, H. In stage 3, the hydrogen ion reacts with the AlCl4 ion made in the first stage. This regenerates the halogen carrier catalyst. Now, when we add an alkyl group to benzene, this makes the benzene ring more reactive. So, because of this, further alkylation is likely to take place. Okay, now we can use a similar reaction to add an acyl group to benzene. This is called Friedel Crafts acylation. In this reaction, the starting material is an acyl chloride, for example, ethanol chloride, and the product is an aromatic ketone. For example, in this reaction, we've made phenyl ethanone, which is used to make fragrances. Now, the mechanism of acylation is very similar to alkylation. Just like an alkylation, the first stage of this reaction forms the electrophile. In this case, the electrophile is called an acyllium ion. In the second stage, an electron pair from the delocalized electron system of benzene forms a dative covalent bond to the electrophile. This forms an unstable intermediate, in which the delocalized electron system has been partially broken. Next, the electron pair between the hydrogen and carbon atom moves down into the delocalized electron system of the benzene ring, and this restores the delocalized electron structure. We've now formed our product molecule and a hydrogen ion H+. In stage three, the halogen carrier catalyst is regenerated. Now, both alkylation and acylation are very important reactions as they allow us to increase the number of carbon atoms in our molecule. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe alkylation and acylation.